I'm making this video for those of you who feel like no matter what you do, no matter how much you achieve in life, it's never good enough. Maybe you've accomplished a lot, but you never really feel successful. Stress and social anxiety are the norm, not to mention the oppressive dread of being found out as the imposter that deep down you fear that you are. And worst of all, you're gripped by the terror that life will pass you by without you ever really living it. I get it. I've been there. And in this video, I'm gonna share some of my own journey in the hopes that it will help you to overcome this too. If we don't know each other yet, I'm Suki Baxter. I'm an entrepreneur, equestrian, and healer who is deeply passionate about crafting a vibrant and meaningful life in this complex, imperfect world. Over the past 20 years, I've studied human behavior and healing practices. I've overcome my own struggles with anxiety and built a life and career that are truly fulfilling. Now I'm here to share what I've learned so that you can do the same. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and anything that I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below or to the side or wherever they're putting it these days. Okay, let's get into it. It's honestly a little bit difficult for me to admit this, but I have always been ambitious. From an early age, I knew that I wanted to make a life for myself, a successful life, whatever that meant. So I studied hard, got good grades, pushed myself athletically. I bought into the promise that if I worked hard and applied myself, life would reward me with a stable career and financial security. As someone with a lifelong passion for horses, it was important to me to set myself up to be able to support something that is not just a hobby, but also my sanctuary, my therapy, just so much more than a pastime. And that takes money, of course. We're not talking billions of dollars here. I just wanted a comfortable life that met my basic needs and allowed me to do the things that I love. So I followed the conventional advice. I studied hard, I competed athletically, went to college, and I got a good job out of school. And I was miserable. Outwardly successful, inside I felt empty and restless and like I was performing someone else's life, which is precisely what I was doing. It was around this point in my journey that I began to realize that I struggled with underlying anxiety and how profoundly it was impacting my life. The anxiety that I felt and that I honestly wasn't even aware of at the time caused me to constantly fear judgment. And so I showed up always trying to be perfect, I struggled to assert my boundaries and I looked for validation from everyone except myself. Every decision that I had made that led me to this point in my life had been born out of the need to keep myself safe. The success I'd achieved was really just a very elaborate form of people pleasing. In my quest for safety, I'd followed everyone else's roadmap to success except my own. This is the crux of anxiety. It pushes you toward achievements that, at least on the outside, present apparent safety, financial, social, physical. But these achievements are rooted in a survival response. When you're operating from survival mode, you're not building a life that fulfills your deepest desires. You're building one that keeps you trapped, never feeling like your achievements are good enough, like you're never good enough. But even as I realized all of this, I had no idea where to begin to craft my own path forward. I felt stuck between two painful choices. Keep working at the conventional path to success that was sapping my health and happiness or give up my ambition and with it the possibility of financial security, a stable and meaningful career and having horses in my life. Either way, I was cutting off a piece of myself, sacrificing a fragment of my soul. And then there was the guilt. After all, my life wasn't really that bad, right? Maybe I was asking for too much and I should just count my blessings and be grateful. But thinking this way only compounded the misery. As luck would have it, I stumbled into somatic work around this time in my life. I went because I wanted help for my athletic pain and injuries, but what I got was so much more. As the pain melted away and my muscles relaxed, something else happened that seemed, at least to me, miraculous. I began to feel calm, centered, and grounded, and at home in my own skin for probably the first time in my life. I honestly hadn't realized that I had anxiety until it began to dissipate, leaving me feeling truly present and connected to myself. From this grounded and centered place, it became increasingly apparent to me that 
All of the decisions that had led me to this point in my life were predicated on a lack of safety. Anxiety was driving my achievements, and subconsciously, I'd been trying to make up for the lack of safety I felt inside by protecting myself externally and hoping that one day I would finally feel good enough. It sounds a bit melodramatic, but I knew that in order to save my life, something really had to change. So I took a hard left turn. I quit my tech job and delved into the study of bodywork. I was fascinated by the deep connection between physical health and emotional well-being. This work had impacted me profoundly, and I really just felt called to share it with others. That decision was the tipping point in my life, the first domino that led me to where I am today. And it wasn't what I did that mattered so much. It was the connection that I forged with myself, first through regulating my nervous system, and then by aligning with my intrinsic values and desires. And it wasn't an overnight journey. I've spent 20 years healing, growing, and finding my way forward. And my advice is this. Resolve your anxiety first if you want a fulfilling future. Most people do the opposite. They try to fix their outer circumstances by changing jobs, starting a new relationship, or moving to a new city, hoping that external changes will fix the internal turmoil. They lift big, run marathons, or chase physical perfection, thinking that once they get there, it will finally bring relief from that deep, gnawing feeling of being an imposter, never quite good enough. And then they become frustrated, disillusioned, and despondent when it doesn't work. I call this the I'll be happy when myth, which is the false belief that achieving external milestones will cure your anxiety. But in reality, anxiety will persist until it's addressed internally rather than through outward accomplishments. No matter what you achieve or how hard you push, the anxiety stays. It lingers until burnout sets in. You're exhausted, defeated, and left questioning your worth, and eventually, you shrink your dreams, settling for less than what you deserve. The truth is, you can't achieve your way out of anxiety. If the underlying sense of safety isn't there, success will always feel hollow. The first step to changing this is to become aware of the pattern. Then, by working from the inside out to calm your nervous system and reconnect with your intrinsic values, you create a foundation for self-actualized success. Self-actualized success means building a life where your work aligns with your values and brings you genuine satisfaction. It's about having the freedom to choose how you spend your time, to create in ways that feel meaningful and to live comfortably without external pressures. You're able to earn more than enough to support yourself, to contribute to causes you care about and live and shop according to your values and enjoy a more creative, fulfilling life where you really feel that your work makes a difference. When you regulate your nervous system first, you'll find that instead of chasing external achievements for validation, success becomes a natural byproduct of living in alignment with your true self. Here's the key takeaway. Resolve your anxiety first. When you feel safe and grounded in who you are, everything else falls into place. Your ambitions, your goals, and even your challenges will feel more manageable because you're no longer operating out of perpetual survival mode. Instead of chasing achievements to fill the void, you'll be creating from a place of security, clarity, and fulfillment. And trust me, the mental and emotional freedom you gain is worth every bit of effort. Remember that you're not alone in feeling this way. I've been there, many others have too, but by focusing on your internal well-being, you can break the cycle and create a life that feels truly magical. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.